What's going on? My name is Vino. Ladies call me Vino, baby. Please say the baby. We back for another video. And you know we going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yana, you did that shit again, cuz. Whoa. Right, so I'm gonna go over the five lock mistakes that I made so far in my journey. Um, I'm gonna talk about how the mistakes affected me, and I'm gonna talk about what I learned from them. So y'all gonna learn a little bit more about my journey, how I handle certain things, and if you turn those negatives into a positive, you know it can relate to other things in your life, which you'll hear about. All right, so <clears throat> well, first of all. Get the Vino baby hat. You know, if you if you want to have if you want to support a brother, go ahead hit me in my DM. Um, I don't have like a website up or anything like that. But if you want to support a brother, go ahead and hit me. I appreciate all the love. Alright. Alright, so my first mistake was we twisting my locks whenever they unravel. <clears throat> so the reason why I actually did that because when I got my locks, I wanted the uniform locks. I wanted them to look perfect all the time. And I didn't fully understand what that would do and how that would stress out my scalp and basically how it would just go against the grain because I want my hair to grow long. I want it to be healthy, but be twisting it every other day Anytime it comes out, you know, it's, it's just going against the grain, right? So I had to learn to just trust the process, be patient, and not just be too anxious. Like, <clears throat> you know, when having locks, they're going to do what they want to do. You just got to stick in there, just wait for them to lock up. And then, you know, once they lock up, you know, you home now. So I just, I just had to learn patience, <clears throat> to learn how to just stay down. Trust the process and not be too self-conscious about it, you know, and just enjoy it. Yeah. All right, so my second mistake is having an odd amount of locks. <clears throat> um, for a while, I've been doing like the two-strand twists, the plaits and all that. I like the individual, you know, styles. My homegirl D was just like, yo, you might as well go ahead and lock your hair gonna grow faster, they're gonna be thicker, you know what I mean, however you want it, whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. But I didn't actually look into the different parts that you can have, diamond style, um, half circle style, triangle style. I didn't look into the parts. I didn't look into, I did know I wanted thick dreads. So I will make a video about, you know, how many dreads I got. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, when you do styles, right? So when I do the two strand twist, because I have an odd number of locks, one of the locks can have three strands. So that one, you know, three strand twist, it looks more chunky than the other ones. And basically what I learned from that was, bro, just do your research before you get into anything. Do your research, look it up, be thorough. Make sure you, you know, you know what you're getting yourself into. Simple. Right, so my third mistake was not embracing the curly ends on my locks. For real, I'm still mad about that one till this day. So when I first started my locks, I looked up um, locks on YouTube. So I saw a lot of people's journeys, I saw you know, the good and bad with their locks. And I wanted my locks to somewhat be like <clears throat> their locks, you know, to be honest with you. But in reality, my locks will never be theirs and theirs will never be mine because we're different, period. And, um, and I just needed to embrace my locks. So, you know, when I first got my locks, whenever I would wash my hair, then I would condition it, the ends would get curly, which I'll put up a video. And um, 
And I remember just looking at other people's videos like it's supposed to be blunted, right? But in reality, you know, that's just their locks. My locks supposed to be curly at the end. So one of the mistakes I made was taking the crochet needle and blunting some of them. But some of them are still curly. And now, you know, I really regret that because that's that's what makes me me. I'm an individual. I don't want, I shouldn't want to be like anybody else. I want to have the vino dreads. I want the vino swag. I want the vino, vino, vino. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I think that's my biggest mistake, if I had to say. It's just not, um, just not embracing my own locks and just looking at other people too much. And who gives a fuck about other people? I'm me, to be honest with you. So now I learned, so what I learned was just to embrace every step. Like even if my dress get blunted in five years, cool. But for right now, I'm gonna enjoy my curly locks. Like my dose to shit, like what's up? And in a couple years, if they get blunted, cool. I'm gonna enjoy that part of it too, but I'm gonna stay in the moment. I'm gonna enjoy my life for what they are, you know? And that's what I learned. <clears throat> Trust the process, right? Which is, you know, the main slogan for locks, right? But also just accept me and use it in my advantage and just appreciate myself, you know, appreciate me being an individual. All right, so my fourth mistake was dealing with an experienced barber. It was Martin Luther King Day. Me and my folks, we was going out to like a little lounge, you know, lounge vibes, smoke some hookah, get some drinks, chill with some vibes, you dig what I'm saying? And you know, my locks was, I think it was in like the two shirt and twist, but I'm like, man, I need my cut. Like I need my shit to be on fleek. I need my shit to be right, tight. Dynamite. I need my shit to be right, tight and dynamite. <laughs> But anyway, the point was, so I ended up going to a barber that I didn't know. I did look up the reviews. The reviews was okay, but he ended up bought. I ended up bought it like right here. So, hold on. So like right here, it's thin as fuck because of that barber. So it was worse than that. You know what I mean? But you know, I try to hit it with the castor oil to bring it back. But, you know, come with the game. <clears throat> and what I learned was stick to your barber. All right, so my fifth and last So, my fifth and last mistake was getting instant locks. I cheated, I know I cheated, I'm sorry. I didn't fully understand. I just wanted that look off bucks, but I cheated. I'm not even gonna hold you, I cheated. And I shocked my hair. So when you get instant locks, you're gonna shock your hair. Your hair don't know what the fuck just happened. It went from loose hair to now it's locked in, what, a, a couple of hours? So it shocks your hair and make your hair stop growing for a little bit. You know, it, it just throws it off, right? <clears throat> if I can go back in time, I would get the two-strand twist because I would like to go through the experience of seeing the two-strand twist, um, feed, you know, going through the button phase. I didn't have a button phase at all, you know, so I cheated, I did. <laughs> I did, no. I had no clue, but if I could go back in time, I get a two strand twist. You know what I mean? So that's really just about it. Um <clears throat> so if you want to support your boy, remember I'm starting out small. Like I'm not no big lock person or I'm really out there like that. I do have some Vino baby hats if you want to support. Hit me in my DM, hit my line, bang my line. Uh, we got different colors too. I post pictures. And, um, yeah, I want to thank you for watching. You need to comment, like, subscribe, all that. You know, I'm not really on it like that, but I'm trying to be on it like that. 
Give your boy some motivation. I'm gonna hold y'all down. I'm dropping every week. Y'all know the vibes. I'm committed. 